Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Young Brawling Gaming Channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be going on ladder with this Peko Ram Rider Brit Spam deck, guys. This is a really, really fun deck to play on ladder or in challenges as well. But uh, I've had good success with it on ladder. Uh, not a lot of people are actually uh, using this deck at the moment, but it is on the rise, especially given the current meta state. We have a bunch of... Uh, cards that this deck is really good to use against guys so uh, let's go ahead and dive into some ladder gameplay but I'm just gonna collect these rewards from the last season or the trophy road oh, there we go I think that's about it yes and uh, we can just go ahead and jump into a game there's a really really good deck guys Let's go and uh, test it out how it's gonna do in this season. So we have Pekka, Snowball, Lightning, and a Barbarian Barrel to start off this match. Let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and do Pekka into that same lane as the Mega Minion. Uh, we'll just go ahead and see what how we go about things from there. This could be Double Prince Giant. I'm thinking this is Double Prince Giant just go like that oh it's not so we just have to go with this um, oh geez this might this looks like a little bit trouble but I think we'll be okay I just have to go ahead and use a he was right there to make sure that the Inferno Dragon doesn't finish off our tower. I mean, we're in a little bit of trouble here, giving up lots of damage. We're down about 2,000 HP. That's not cool. No damage on our tower. Let's go with Pekka behind the King Tower. We still have about 2,000 HP on this tower, so we're, we're looking pretty good. Alright, so we can just go ahead and use a Baby Dragon. A Ram Rider. gonna lightning a bunch of these things right there just to get there we go look at that guys double elixir and we were able to form a solid solid play and that is just gonna crush the opponent's left tower and just in one play guys in double elixir all it took was just one solid push and look at that the opponent's not even dropping another card after that so good game well played and good luck in the start, it was looking like we we could have lost that game, um, but you know, double elixir, you can actually make some plays happen. So, good start to this season on this deck as well, guys. On this account, this was the first push of the season. Let's go ahead and jump into another game. Yes. I know I waited a little bit too long. I should have uh, not done that. I'm not going to drop anything else. That's, that's a good amount of elixir we still have on the board. Uh, look at that. Bandit gets a hit on the tower. And the baby dragon is also going to get a bunch of hits as well. So let's go with the ram rider. Hmm, I can snowball if something is going to be like that. I think lightning might be a better play because we take out the motor and we took out the firecracker and a little bit of damage was done to the tower as well. But we um, 
got a, got the opponent's king tower activated, but I uh, don't think that should make a difference. Just snowball right there. Maybe dragon to block the hits from the spirit goblins. Uh, this just, you know, I'm just trying to make sure I don't uh, spend too much elixir here. Another hit on the tower. That's looking pretty good for us. gonna go ahead with the firecracker right here just like that guys because we're gonna be able to go and uh, get some hits on this tower so that should be good I'm just gonna snowball here uh, 800 HP left just on that tower so we just gotta be patient that could actually be a couple of lightnings well 420 HP for lightning so that is about uh, two lightnings and a snowball hit so I probably should have lightning that. That would have been good a lightning play to do. I can still do it though. There we go. Uh, it clears out the way for the bandit and the baby dragon to easily get a lock on the tower. Um, so this is going to be a good game guys. As you can see guys, really really fun deck to use. And actually very effective in this meta as well. So um, I mean there are other decks that are pretty good to play but they're not really good in the current meta that we have so that is why this particular deck is on the rise guys a lot and a lot more people are trying to learn this deck so definitely give it a try if you have these cards anywhere close to being maxed or not even if not max give it a try on uh, challenges or something and i'm sure you might end up liking it uh, there we go there we go um, so we got two wins. We can go ahead and jump into another ladder match and see how we'll do. Got the lightning. I got the Ram Rider, Snowball, and the Electro Wizard. Oh, by the way, I will. I actually 3D printed an Electro Wizard. You can go ahead and check it out on my Facebook Marketplace. I I know I uploaded an ad purchase it if you want so uh, definitely take a look at that the link will be posted in the description cool yeah I actually messed up right there I did not even mean to do that so I was just gonna have to do Pekka here that's the best option um, that's lots of damage though did not want to give up so much damage on our tower like that, guys. Uh, <laughs> Let's see what we're going to have to do now. I'll just go with the baby dragon. Uh, at least we're going to finish off uh, something, right? Uh, I guess I can do this finish off the night witch like that and then maybe ram rider can charge on to the tower maybe get a hit or something nope no hits though but that was uh definitely a good defensive play so right now at least we know that the opponent has a mega knight so we can definitely try to counter that though with pekka oh, i don't really like seeing this card though which is um Barbarian Hut. It's one of my most hated matchup matchups. So, not a big fan of Barbarian Huts. But we should be fine though. We're gonna be doing okay. The opponent has Mega Knight. Um, you know, we just gotta go with the Baby Dragon. this game by the way but the way it's looking like I'm uh, just gonna have to do Pekka here
I probably should not have done that lightning though. Well, this kind of P.E.K.K.A. play is going to distract uh, everything though, so that ends up working out. I don't think we really have to worry about that too much. actually do it that's good game let's go let's go hey <laughs> good game ggs ggs that was intense matchup though that was an intense matchup good game Whew. let's go that was a pretty pretty uh annoying matchup as you can see and we get a wild card for that so that's pretty good i can use that here three of them right there just need one more to max out our royal ghost for our battle ram brit spin but this is such a good deck though i this is more fun to play than this battle ram matchup um this ram rider pekka lightning version is so much better given the current state of this meta like, there was no way I could have taken out the Barbarian Hut with the Fireball. But with the Lightning, easy, guys. Which clears out the way for the Ram Rider. And you can get the hit on the tower when you need it to. So, uh, I'm just going to end this here, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And turn hit that bell notification so you guys stay, uh, stay tuned to the content I'll be uploading. Uh, I'll be uploading Brawl Stars, Clash Royale, Call of Duty mobile and clash of clans content so uh take care guys until next time rolling out peace